What is going on you guys, this is Tech HD, and this is the Elgato Cam Link. This is a device that allows you to connect a DSLR or mirrorless camera to your computer and use it as a webcam for either recording or for streaming, which is really, really interesting and it's really, really cool. Basically, you don't have to use uh, just a regular webcam, you don't have to use the legendary Logitech C920 that I used when I was streaming and making a couple videos, or even the newer one, the Logitech 4K Brio, you don't have to use that. You can use a mirrorless camera or a DSLR camera, put on your favorite lens, have that nice little bokeh, that really nice detail and start streaming and you will get amazing, amazing quality. Quality that you couldn't get or was difficult to get before. So we're gonna be unboxing this, we're gonna be taking a look at this and we're gonna be hooking it up to my computer. I'm gonna be using the Panasonic Lumix G7 and I know that this one will work specifically for this. Now keep in mind though that this is not for every mirrorless or DSLR camera. If you guys wanna know if your camera supports it, I have a link down in the description below. Elgato has a variety of cameras that they know that will already support it. Basically, if your camera is able to be clean and by clean I mean like not have any Thing on the display then you're all set or you need to crop some things out but pretty much I know that my Lumix G7 works perfectly with this so we're gonna be hooking this up and we're gonna see the final result now bear in mind though that I'm also not gonna be doing a step-by-step -step on how I set everything up I'm just gonna be unboxing this we're gonna see what this comes with and then we're gonna see the final result and compare it to my Logitech 4k Brio and we're gonna see if it's really good if you actually see a difference uh, I will make an in-depth video on how I the things that I need the things that I bought that I think will be best for using a mirrorless or DSLR camera with this to stream or make videos, all right? All right, you guys, so as you can see right here, we got the Elgato Cam Link. It's very simple. It's a small little device that you can connect an HDMI to USB 3.0, which is pretty crazy. Unleash your camera. And we see on the back, you can see the system requirements. So uh, Windows uh, 10 64-bit USB 3.0 port and a fourth generation quad core Intel Core i5 or more and uh, it also supports AMD processors. So simplify your workflow, level up your uh, content and plug and produce. So pretty much plug and play, very simple. And let's just open this up. Ooh, okay. I really like the logo and the design that they have over here. It looks really nice. Okay, very nice, very small, compact. Feels a little bit cheap or because it's mainly plastic, of course, so nothing crazy, but I don't, I feel like it's not going to break. I mean, I've owned a bunch of Elgato products and they do not break at all with me. So looks pretty cool. You got a USB 3.0 port right here and as well as an HDMI port, a full HDMI uh, port. And then you got a little indicator light that lets you know that everything is now connected. And it looks like that we got an extension cable from a USB 3.0 and a USB 3.0 as well. We also got an Elgato gaming sticker, which looks really, really dope. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this, but it looks really cool. And then I believe we got the little instruction guide that tells me what's compatible with, how to set everything up, all of that, which nobody really reads. And then you can see elgato.com slash gaming slash download and to pretty much set everything up. So that is everything that comes in the box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up and I'm gonna show you guys the final result with my Panasonic Lumix G7, which I'm using right now that you guys are seeing right now. I'm shooting it in 4K and this supports up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. So that's still really good, especially for streaming. Don't expect like 4K or anything like that, but 60 frames at 1080p is still what everybody really uses, especially for streaming on Twitch and YouTube. So let's take a look at this and let's see how it performs against the Logitech 4K Brio. All right, you guys, so as you can see right here, I got the Panasonic Lumix G7 connected to the Elgato Cam Link, and you guys are seeing it from OBS Studio. And I'm gonna show you guys a bit of a B-roll shot. And this is how it looks like from 4K crop down to 1080p at 30 frames per second. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison. What we're gonna be showing you guys is the Lumix G7, and then we're gonna be showing you guys 
the um, Logitech 4K Brio. Now this is 4K. Uh, this is not 4K. This is at 1080p at 30 frames per second, so it can match with the uh, Lumix that's right above me. And I'll show you guys a B-roll shot of how it looks like. Like I said before, now with the Logitech 4K Brio, I could mess around with it a little bit. I can mess around with a bit of the exposure, but with the exposure with the 4K Brio, it messes up the frame rates. I don't know why. That's a software issue. I wish they would fix it, but they haven't yet. And so that's the big issue also i look really overexposed and that's also a bit of an issue i have lights hitting me i have the green screen right behind me i got the elgato green screen so if you guys haven't seen that video i'll have it linked down in the description below as well and so i looked a little bit overexposed so i would have to do some color correcting stuff like that whereas with a mirrorless camera or a DSLR, I'm able to mess around with the exposure, the white balance, the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, all of that, and make it as perfect as possible and as color accurate as possible. So I don't have to do so much in post production, which is uh, really good. And you can see that I am really, really detailed. The snapback, the Twitch snapback, is nice and detailed. And I'm in focus, I'm nice and detailed, and the background is nice and a little bit blurred out. So it has that nice little bokeh effect, which is really good. And you can see that there's nothing in the screen, which is pretty dope. And if we go back to the Logitech 4K Brio, same thing, very nice. I can see a little bit of detail on the hat, not as much as the uh, Lumix G7, a little bit of detail on myself, but like I said, not like I'm seeing like the details of the hair, the pores, stuff like that. I'm not seeing it as much as the actual mirrorless camera which is pretty interesting and a little bit of bokeh on the uh, green screen and everything looks pretty color balanced which is really nice but if we go back to here you could see a difference you can really see a difference so that is the benefits of using a mirrorless or a DSLR when you're streaming or making videos so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video once again I'll make a video uh, in depth video on what I use if I were to stream, basically, I purchased a lot of things on top of the cam link so I could stream for multiple hours and not have any issues. Also, for those of you guys that are asking, why don't you just get a micro HDMI or whatever size your, your camera uses, HDMI cable to uh, USB cable, and I feel like it will lose... Um, not only will it lose quality, but also frame rates will not be up to date or stuff like that. So that's why I feel like an Elgato Cam Link will be the best solution and the easiest way to set it up. So once again, if you guys are unsure on if your mirrorless camera or DSLR is compatible with this, I'll leave a link down in the description below to what Elgato claims that everything what is compatible with it and what isn't so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications if you guys are not being notified that i upload every single week follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always is tech i'll catch you guys in the next video peace